Welcome, my sister. Welcome. Yeah, let me uh, introduce as a Wow, it's so good to see you. See you so long. You're so beautiful today. Oh, my goodness. As a lead, is a human rights and international law attorney an award-winning playwright, performance poet, and cultural activist. She was born in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and raised in the United States. She is a, a Haiti scholar and runs the Ezra Lee Network, the Free Haiti, Haiti Movement, the Haitian Lawyers Leadership Network, uh, Zilli Designs, and Zilli Zulu, Clean Water, Renewable Power, and Skills Transfer for Haiti. Ezra Lee is the author of 10 plays and two book series. Gregory conducts Haiti teachings on the non-colonial narrative of Haiti, centering on Haiti's wealth, natural resources, revolutionary culture, voodoo, spirituality, and her expression of this through the voodoo jazz oratory performance production. Ezra Lee was featured as a Haiti scholar and historian in the documentary 1804, the Hidden History of Haiti. In 2018, Ezra Lee was honored at the Connecticut Women Hall of Fame for her lifetime of justice and cultural advocacy works. Again, thank you so much, Ezra Lee, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having this commemoration of the ancestors. Vodun is our way in IHC. On behalf of the Ezra Lee Network, on behalf of the Free Haiti Movement, I thank you for this commemoration. I thank everyone who has made their presentation. It's been very inspiring. <clears throat> the Mahafa and those who survived. IT was the first place that enslaved Africans from the continents were brought in 1503. They were being deported from the Iberian Peninsula after the fall of Grenada. And so our story continues. Today, the Holocaust continues for Aisien, for Haitians, as we are the most hated ethnicity in North America. We are hated because we are the only ones that beat the ancestors to create a nation in the Americas. And for that, our Holocaust continues. But because we are who we are, because we know where we come from, there is a Haitian saying that says, Guinée-Posé. Guinée-Posé means that we are calm because we are the we understand that their DNA is our DNA. Their arms, we give them arms. During the Haitian Revolution, 13 years of fighting, the African warriors started that on August 14, 1791. After nearly a thousand years of Arab enslavement in the continent and 300 years of European enslavement. And today, 217 years after 1804, which is our independence, neo-colonialism ravages Aixi. But we are a people of resistance. And Ogu and Ezeli continue to hold our soul. Our culture continues to provide us with the strength at Wakaima, the bookman's prayer that began the Haitian Revolution. That prayer continues to be our guiding light. That prayer said that it is the white man's God who wants him to commit crimes. But our God, the God within us, as everyone has said on this panel, wants us to be good. And that's what we are. We are the people of the sun, black as the center of the sun, as Kemet, as Sudan, as Ethiopia, 
as the indigenous people who were in IHC before 1492 and all over the uh, the 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 um the Americas. So we have a legacy to reach. And in that legacy, we say we remember because remembering we gives them memberment. We give them arms, legs, and fists. We remember because they died unjustly for an unjust system that we are here to take down. We remember because the spirit who dies unjustly seeks vengeance. That was Bookman's prayer. He said, our God will give us the strength to avenge our wrongs. And so for the 250,000 Haitians, we began the Haitian Revolution with 500,000 black enslaved Africans. The conditions of their enslavement were so terrible that constantly they died. Every time they brought a boatload from the Middle Passage, those who made it, more than half would die within a few months because of the conditions. We remember their suffering. We, we remember that on, on January 1st, when Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Haiti's founding father, declared our independence. And he said, I have avenged America. He said that because our name, we are Africans and a mixture from the amalgamated tribes from West Africa to Congo to Angola, down to Angola. And then we are mixed with the indigenous blacks who were in the Americas. And in the Haitian Revolution came people from the Caribbean and all over North America. So we know that what we are, when Dessalines, our founding father, decided to name this space, he wanted to raise the spirit of Haitien. That was the name of the original people that were on the island before Columbus got here. So whenever you say Haitien, it is a remembrement. It is a triumph. It is to say that they have not died. They are still here going through the Holocaust, but understanding very well that we have already won. So on behalf of those who have died, are gone, we know that spirit is eternal, never dies. I pour libation. I pour libation on behalf of my mother's side, on my father's side, and for those of the future. We pour libation for the 250,000 who lost their lives, those who lost their lives since 1503, those who continue today. There is patience since the earthquake have been going through. They're burning our house. IET is where the European white supremacy was destroyed. And today it's still the linchpin of world power. We are between Cuba and Venezuela. And because we are between Cuba and Venezuela, two countries that are rejecting neocolonialism. The United States has put its fist and its largest embassy on the body of IET in order to stop the freedom that will be a domino effect when IET is free again, because that's what happened when IET was free before it accelerated the freedom of the Amer everyone in the Americas, everyone on planet Earth, it accelerated this idea that it's immoral. It's immoral. Though the Abrahamic religions said nothing about slavery, not even the Nazarene fought against slavery, but Aïtien and our ancestors did. And I stand here as a descendant of Jean-Jacques Dessalines and Grand Vitton and Tantoya and Défilé and Marie-Jeanne 
in Bois Antonaire. The same theme runs through the words of our ancestors. And I will leave those who continue to fight as we do in Haiti. I remember and I witness to the Haitians who are on the sea right now, drowning in the Caribbean, where in Bahamas they just rammed their boats and let them die, where from Brazil to Chile they have taken the trek going through 11 nations to try to get to San Diego, to the Amer America for asylum an asylum and a justice that is always denied their kind. And I want to tell you, Haitians, who are on that journey today, we have already won. The way we won is that we understood that we had to go inside and burn the port cities, burn what we see, and issue from source. And so today, we say all is calm in the soul of the voodooists, of the descendants of these who made it possible for me to be here. We say that we have already won. We know this why. We know this because Vodun is about lifting up sacred energy, the most beautiful part of who we are, the most the irreducible essence of Ezili Delta, the warrior goddess, the divine mother, that cannot be burnt, it cannot be shot, it cannot be kidnapped, it cannot be subject to containment in poverty or passports or fake peacekeeping or weaponized charity. We know that. And it is because we know that, that even in fighting Mundele, even in fighting the black collaborators and all their evil forces, we stood and we danced. So we have these dances of breaking our chains and we dance today in honor of all those who we know are here with us because we are here. We are their living library. And we know that when I see in Africa stamp its Foot and remember what it is, who it is, the world will be free. Thank you very much for having me. Guinea Posey, honor and respect.